the lootables. Because they're lootable. Let me loot this overturned cart. We got some simple bindings, novice string, and some threadbare lining. Pretty nifty. Oh, we've got... Use a shrine. Shrines confer a temporary bonus. Different deities will conform different bonuses to your character. Okay. Harvest this pearl. That's a bear! Nope, 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 we got some black kakash, whatever the shit that is. Got some elf pearl? No, we didn't, because we didn't collect shit. All right. Uh, those wolves are eating something bloody. Nope, no, 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 Name's Agarth. <coughs> Maybe you can help an old fate with her, eh? What's a fate, Agarth? Let's give us look at the great tapestry of fate. <laughs> the threads will tell us how a life will unfold. But knowing the future and being able to change it are two very different things. Oh my god. And the Wait, it gets better. It gets better. Oh god. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. It's oh my like, damn fate wearing Zelda's outfit. Yeah. <laughs> and and Link's face is just like wah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you randomized all the Poor tech. old Foman yeah. fumes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. A what makes music. you? What do you know? When about? he started his experiments here, he <laughs> asked me if they'd ever be successful. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but its success would come on the day that Hughes was to die. The old man took it pretty well, honestly. <laughs> Although we did a lot of drinking after that. <laughs> Wait, you really don't know much, do you? A fate weaver taps into the threads of fate and channels that energy through a focus. My order prefers cards. The cards are unique to each fate weaver, since we all see the weave differently. I now understand the blue rupee meme. You, you're the one. Then that this means this video is it the all makes sense now. of the blue. The cards rupee. this morning. I drew the grave digger, the running man, and the beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. Okay, so favors tend to be perform special attacks and defeat enemies to gather threads of fate Fate Mirror is full, the symbol will pulse. You can then use your Fate Entry to enter Reckoning Mode. Reckoning Mode greatly increases your uh, speed and attack power. It lasts until either your Fate Mirror runs out or you Fate Shift an enemy. For, uh, pull and hold LT and R to the As you defeat enemies in Reckoning Mode, their fates will begin to unravel. We got some sky blossom. How? What are you? 
The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? <laughs> did the well cause may have brought you back to I life? I decided to watch another. But that was still part of fate's plan. Video. Nothing and short I do of a not god like could do what he did. Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I can't see. I promise not to tell you if I see you. Watch. Yeah. It's like you're just gonna backflip everywhere. It's Nobody a gift. Some going. people paint landscapes. Other people write poetry. I peer into the weave of fate's tapestry and see people's deaths. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. All right, show me. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much. Fate's weave is always hard to see. It's in motion, hard to make out, but undeniably there. Yours is just... missing. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. Okay, and now we can select different unlock destiny. <laughs> So, we have the rogue. Unlike many of the warriors of Alamor, yeah, we have the fateless one. Newly resurrected, your fate is blink, formless, and ready to be forged in the shape of your choosing. So, basically, the fateless one is the fool. Um, the rogue, unlike many of the warriors of Alamor, rogues prefer to fight from far away or from behind, or by dishonorable means, and is usually, a, uh, and is usually by surprise. As a rogue, you sneak, dodge, and slather weapons with poison. To gain the advantage in combat. As an acolyte, you are devoted to the arcane and a mastery of elemental forces. You prefer to destroy your opponents with raw magic rather than cruel, uh, than crude or mundane methods. That's probably what we'll go with Brawler. With this destiny, you are a formidable melee combatant. You uh, can withstand a lot of punishment. It's usually more efficient for you to block or suffer an attack rather than dodge one. But yeah, we'll go with the uh, we'll go with uh, plus twenty five percent elemental damage and minus ten percent uh, ten percent uh, mana cost reduction, which is actually pretty cool. So let's go with the acolyte. I can see the threads around you. But they're shifting, changing so rapidly, I can't make sense of them. Normally the threads would guide my hand to the cards, and I'd use those cards to see your pattern in the weave. But it just didn't happen. They wouldn't focus. Um... So either there's something wrong with me, and there isn't, or there's something very wrong with you. It could mean nothing, or it could mean everything. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that, or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings, but we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one, but that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yulvan. I'll meet you there. Okay. Once I was Agarth the Unyielding, the Blade of Avgrum. I wrestled the Colossus Priestess and declined knighthood by the High King of the Fae. I was a hero of men, but that wasn't I'm enough. First item tracker, but it I joined the Fate Weavers, hoping else. to find a way to conquer so destiny itself. Wind Waker tracker, Turns this out thing doesn't track where you got the items. Fight. 
You can find Arden's little cottage in the middle of Yeovan. Had to move there when he got run out of town. He's a damned good fate weaver. But that doesn't make you very popular. Especially not in dark days like these. We are all threads in the tapestry of fate. Measured, woven, and cut according to a great plan. Fate weavers undertake the task of reading those threads. Our title always was a bitter lie, since we have no control over how that tapestry is woven. But you do. And when a fate weaver looks at your place in the weave, we see only the shapes of what you may choose to become. The fate weavers were once a great unified order of sages from all the mortal races. We foretold the destinies of kings and gods. But that power takes a toll. Nobody likes bad news. And all the news in the world is getting worse. The order splintered long ago. Now the old traditions are all but lost. And all I foretell is the fate of my beer. And I see it being empty soon. What could this all mean? Okay, let's go ahead and harvest that. And now to head off to our next destination. Oh, we got some uh, no regents. <laughs> The Legend of Dead Cow. Pursue this quest. What? I, uh... Oh yeah, we've got the Legend of, of Dead Cow. Level 10 plus. Yeah, we're not doing that yet. Um... Yeah, we're... we're yeah, we're, we're passing until we're actually leveled. You know. We've got a new quest, The Teeth of Naros. I'm guessing these are all the DLC casts. And, uh, contact the expedition. Okay. Discovered a lore stone. Find every lore stone in a set to receive a permanent buff. Then Orleans many feats of the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker. The conscience of the summer fae. She is the heart of spring of day. Okay. Yeah, apparently lore stones do exactly what they say. They, uh, create some fancy f lore that gets voice acted. The voice acting in this game is actually really exceptional, to be honest. Um, let me go ahead and look at my weapons right now. Yeah, we've got this, which is at 13 out of 8. We've got a scepter now. Huh. And we've also got a hammer. Uh, we could try out a scepter for a while and learn what that's like. No idea how scepters work. Are they like magical daggers? It looks like they're magical daggers. Oh. Okay, that guy don't like us. Look, man, I just want to steal your shit and get the hell out of here. Damn it, we didn't harvest that. I really should have gotten alchemy. Oh, well. Bollocks. Excuse me. We're now in Odarith. Everyone We're now in Gohar. The warden can't work when you're crowding so <clears throat> close. Go back to your business. Go on. Oh. See Nanny for alchemical goods. 
I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a Fae. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. It's difficult to say. We've been plagued by the Red Legion for days, but it's not their way to go after the Fey in the area. They like their targets mortal. In case you haven't heard, there have been some Tuatha sighting in the woods to the west, so that's also a possibility. It's unlikely, though. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. Well, at least the guy's honest. Started. The guy was just straight up like, I would go, but I'm a coward. She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. I've spent most of my life dealing with them, but they aren't like us. Not at the core. They don't know what it means to be a man who sweats to feed his family. Gorhart has become a sort of refuge for those settlers who wish to live a life free of Fey. I don't see that lasting. Not with the war. Not with everything changing. We keep a precarious peace with the Court of Summer, one that's tested every day. I lie awake at night worrying what kind of disaster awaits me in the morning. But we're a good community full of good people. We have our eccentrics, sure, but we work hard and live quietly. That's the best anyone can do these days. Peaceful Fae make up the tribe known as the Court of Summer. They are led by a king in a faraway city, hidden from mortal eyes. That's about all I know. Little more than rumors and stories from my youth. I'm the Warden of Gorhart, and a poor one at that. I've been back from the war for only six months and been Warden for less than two. Now here I am with an injured Fae on my doorstep. I'm a disgrace. Our fate rests in the hands of a few chosen who fight in the east. You wouldn't even know it in Gorhart. We're miles away from the smoke and the screams. I've seen many bandit clans in the Crystal War and back home. But these men are a particular breed. They're like the victims weak and bloody. The Red Legion has been a presence in the area for several weeks now. Our people are scared to show their faces after dark. I don't know what the Tuatha will be doing this far from the front lines. It must be something vital to their interests. They're a wicked breed, though, and I pity the man who meets up with them in these darkened forests. What the sh- his face right now, what? What? Just... This! What? What? I don't know. His face! I don't know, it's in shadow from this angle. Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah! Uh. Why is he staring at the camera? It's just uh. staring at the ca- it's just like... Ugh. Ugh. Oh. oh god. Hope you stay in town. Alright, so we have a new side quest, which is... To, uh, building bridges, speak to the, uh, fairy, and travel to Gohart. I've received a package of a... Oh. Hello? Golden Age Alchemy. Welcome. <laughs> you there? Do you feel nauseous? Itchy? 
Have you noticed any blood leaking from your eye socket? <laughs> I've been noticing the symptoms everywhere. Oh my... No, this situation could not be any worse. If the Red Legion is involved, then we could all be staring death in the face. What have I done? Okay, these characters provide services. You can enter the service menu by pressing Y. What Why symptoms? Ask questions when you could never understand the answers? It's clear your prowess is not with wit, but with a weapon. If you must know, something of value has been stolen. An alchemical formula that, if released, could cause untold devastation. I see its symptoms everywhere. Only my apprentice, Karth, and I knew of my work on the formula, but he's gone missing as well. It was an early version, unstable and rife with potential dangers. <laughs> My hope is to develop a weapon that the Alpha can bring against our common enemy, the Tuatha. To say more would be to reveal my secrets. All I can say is that it involves lesions, goiters, and a good deal of pus. Ew, 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 you don't have to say anything else. No, 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 you, you're fine, you're fine. Keep all those secrets about that formula involving, like, leeches and pus and... You know, you can keep all those secrets to yourself. I, I don't want those secrets. On, on second thought, I do not... No, 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 you, you can keep your lips just absolutely shut. I will happily do this side quest without any knowledge of what the formula is. I'm good. His name was Karth Hilfred. I found him one morning outside my door, picking through the ember eyes. I was impressed how well he knew his way around a plant. I've oh, he knew his way so around your plant. Learn. Probably knew his way around your hedge mages, too. I do not deserve such goodwill after what I've engineered. If disaster occurs in Odorath, it will be on my head. I'm not sure where Karth may have gone, but I knew that before he came to me, he found shelter in the ancient chambers of Agnurfar Hall, an Irathi ruin east of Gorhart. Once you've ensured Karth's safety, you must learn what's happened to my formula. When you do, destroy it. It's the only way to keep us safe. He always spoke of his time as a wastrel living in the abandoned halls of Agnor Farhall, the Arathi Ruin. People say it's haunted, but people say many things. The villagers believe it's haunted, but I have a feeling that's a ruse devised by the Red Legion. They mean to terrorize these people into submission, and it's working. Haven't you seen it? The Grim Tower to the West. Avoid its shadow if you can. Because what transpires inside Alistar will benefit no one, I would know. I have seen many conflicts unfold, but never have I seen one in which the fates of so many are at stake. The Tuatha will not settle for simple victory. They want total domination and will do whatever it takes to achieve it. Okay. For years I dabbled in alchemy, healing, divination, and transmutation. All of that seems frivolous now, what with the war looming over us. Now I spend my sleepless nights in search of a formula that will end such conflicts forever. I fear for his life. Karth was gifted in a way that I've witnessed in only a select few. If the Red Legion has him, there's no telling of how he'll be treated. That's not great. So the Red Legion seem to be generic bad guys. If you must know, my name is Nani Hanri, formerly the chief alchemist of Alistar. But you wouldn't know what that is, would you? When the scholars in the tower ordered me to leave the grounds, I took refuge here. The Almain are a private people, keen to keep to themselves, like me. Bandits, ruthless and well organized. The Red Legion is reaping many rewards by preying on vulnerable Almain settlers traveling east. Long ago, these villains confined themselves to the coast, but recently they've moved inland to avoid the war. Now they're our problem. They are the undying, the corrupted roots. <laughs> Their existence is an abomination. Everything in Amalur exists for a particular reason, except for the Tuatha. They're not meant to be. Okay, so the Tawatha are not liked, as you can imagine. So, we can buy a really expensive stuff from you. 
I don't think I desperately need anything. I have plenty of potions at the moment. We could, however, buy a lot of stuff. Good way. Oh, uh, can we use this? <laughs> Does not. Oh no, we can. The alchemy workbench will allow you to create potion using the alchemy skill. We can experiment to discover your own recipes. We have uh, no recipes at all because we have to experiment. The screen shows all regents in your inventory and allows you to mix them. Experimenting can unlock new recipes, but could also blow up our face. An unassuming pale blue wildflower, sky blossom roots reach very deep into the earth. The petals of the flower can lend the essence of extraction to a potion, making it useful for concocting potions that combine very disparate, uh, disparate elements. Long known for their medical properties, black coish roots can be shredded and combined with other regents to imbue a potion with the essence of good health. <laughs> Uh, seeds like smoldering stones radiate an intense heat <laughs> from this, uh, pungent, uh, plant. Yet despite its, uh, fiery nature, the alchemical essence it contains is not flame but restoration. Well, obviously these two sound like they would combine pretty well. Yeah, let's start the experiment. We've made a minor healing potion! A potion to restore lost health can be mixed at an alchemy workbench using the following regents. Cool, so we can now make our own healing potion. Yeah, we could uh, we could go ahead and make that if we wanted to. Sure, what the hell, we'll make this. Well done, you've successfully increased a potion. Invest in the alchemy skill to gain access to more powerful recipes. Awesome! We have- we have achievement completed. It didn't explode! Okay, we can loot the bookshelves, but that might get us arrested. Yeah, this game actually properly tells you! I pray Unlike Fable, which was really annoying that one time I accidentally stole crap and was like, Um, okay. I could loot other places. Um... Anyway, though, uh, there's the corner shop. I'm just... welcome. Welcome to Gorehart, the last settlement before the Feylands. How can I fill your pack today? The Alfar and the Tuatha have been at each other's throats for nearly a decade now. I can't remember the reason. I wonder if they can, the fools. Probably not. I mean, most wars they eventually just forget why they're even fighting. You After will find a while. It on a small lake beside the eastern road. Compared to Gorehart, Dydenhill could be called a city. The Fey are elemental creatures, magical and strange. None too considerate of us mortals either. They see us like pets, or worse, like bugs. It's best that you stay out of the eastern forest. I've seen things you can't even imagine. The road is dark and dangerous. And it's a long hike to Dydenhill. Some call it the Camp of Cowards, on account of it being settled by those who refuse to enter the forest. Can you blame them? <laughs> Never trust a wood that whispers. There's Netty the Smith, and Nanny handles potions and remedies. The inn's across the way if you fancy a pint. Keep an eye out for the Red Legion, though. Oh, I doubt it's an organized group. More likely that it's one scared idiot with a knife. I heard someone in the village mention the Red Legion, but that can't be true. Me? Widowed, going on five years now. All my boys were taken by the Tuatha. Both sons, my brother, and my beloved Avery. Wicked business, this war. 
Jeez. I refuse to speak of them. Please respect my wishes. I understand. Um, so we can buy all kinds of shiny new stuff, including a probably a better birch staff. We can get scepters, but we have no money. So yeah. Oh well. Goodbye. Crazy sister Zelda. Are you here for a weapon? Going to earn a lord's favor in this ridiculous war, are you? Troublesome creatures, the Alphar. No doubt this war is a result of their meddling in the affairs of others. We here in Gorhart are far from the front, and deliberately so. Our hearts may be with the Alphar, but our bodies stay here, safe on the other side of Dalentarth. We've seen our fair share of dead. The truth is, we have as many cemeteries as we do settlements. Look around you. These are no mere woods. This is the heart of the Feylands. Once you enter the forest, you won't emerge again until you reach the plains. The Fey are one with this land in ways that no mortal race could ever be. They are true creatures of magic. Leave the village, walk 50 paces in any direction, and you'll find a Fey. Pray it's a friendly one. It is an Alphar stronghold in the east. And if the reports from the front are to be believed, Mel Senshir is all that stands between the Tawatha and us. <laughs> I intended to pledge my sword to the Alphar, to fight the blasted Tuatha. Had my helmet freshly polished, my sword sharpened to a deadly edge. Then I saw the carts headed west. They carried the corpses of the fallen, some all the way from Melsenshire. After that, my fire to fight went out forever. Yeah, that's understandable. I hear their warriors die as easily as any others, only they don't stay dead. That can be a problem during wartime. I was raised to know weapons before anything else. You won't meet many women who could fashion arrow fletchings before they could speak. Okay, so she can do repair services, which is kind of nice. Yeah, we should probably get this, um, we should probably get our crude birch staff. Hello, Tak Takarin! Welcome to the live stream. Glad to have you here. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. But yeah, we should probably get the crude birch staff, um, nice and repaired. There we go. So long. Hello there. Let's go ahead and use this blacksmithing forge. Forge allow you to craft your own weapons and armor using the blacksmithing skill. Each type of equipment will show you what components are required to make it. Okay, so yeah, we need. Ooh, we could even make our own chalk rams and stabs and stuff. We could also salvage any weapons we're not currently wanting. Well, we're probably not going to use this rusty longsword because we're going for a magic build. We got a crude hill with uh, no, with very little bonuses, no damage. Hello. Also, one thing we should probably do. Let's part with some gold. I would like to, um, can we actually sell stuff? Yeah, we can. Then let's start selling, like, some of this apparel we are not gonna use. Because that would probably lighten our burden a bit. There we go. We're now down to, like, inventory limit 24 out of 70. Come see me again. What's up here now? Not much. Oh well. 
Well, let's go back down the stairs and we will continue on our adventure. Loading, 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 loading. Special delivery. We got a bunch of cool things. Are these all DLC crap? Yeah, it's probably all DLC. This kind of looks a bit DLC-ish. They're probably overpowered as shit weapons that you get with DLC. Not a fan. Not a fan of cheat DLCs. Not a fan. Like, I bet you anything they're all overpowered as shit. It'll just hilariously break the game. Which, well, that is cool for a second run or whatever. Not so cool for your first run. Eh. Oh, let me see here. Um, right, so... Let's go ahead and do Into the Light, because that's going to be story progression type stuff. She is with all of us. Also, there is an uh, there is an exclamation point, so there's a place where we can get a, uh, another quest. Let's go ahead and retrieve another side quest, because why not? Looks like it's up Cut this way. The of St. Odwigs. Only when they fall to earth Hello. They realize they are not above us. Welcome to St. Odwig's Perpetual Mission. I would invite you in, but the Order has been too trusting in the past. We try to learn from our mistakes. Although, one never knows what might be a test of faith. You have arrived just when I am in need of aid. So perhaps Mitharu is at work. You need the aid? St. Odwigs have worked for years to establish a presence on this hill. It's not been without its challenges. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ears, and many of our youngest don't have the will to resist. Take Brother Egan, for example. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls to collect firewood and never returned. We must find him before anything happens. Odorath is a savage land. Every day we must face both the beasts of the wood and the evil of wicked hearts. I fear for Brother Egan's soul. He knows nothing of the world of Fay and Alpha. Trust and temptation. He is like a baby, eyes wide at the world around him. All right, we'll help. Mitharu be praised. His order reigns supreme. Brother Egan was last seen northeast of here. Just off the road near the Fey Ruins. Please find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the fold with open arms. Cool. All right, where should I walk? Egan was last seen in the woods outside the walls, just north of the village. He is a good boy, but our youngest, and Egan often suffers from doubt. That is to be expected. One can only grow out of conflict especially conflict of the spirit. I tried my best to comfort him and tell him that wisdom would come in time, but he is impatient, rash. He wanted a faster way to enlightenment and power. So he's probably sacrificing bodies into like some sort of like devil shrine or something to get ultimate power. The Fey are stubborn <laughs> fools. Just straight they up. They treat their souls like toys with no thought of right or wrong, chaos or order. I have been with the mission since its founding. These boys are like my sons. I live my life as an example of Mitharu's wishes for our kind. The first bricks were laid 50 years ago by Odwig himself, before his demise at the hands of trolls. We honor him by converting the Fey to the worship of Mitharu. Alas, we have yet to convert a single one. But that does not keep us from trying. Bless you, child.
Nothing to see back here. Just a man working for his pay. We in Gorhart like to stay focused on our business. That way the face stay focused on theirs. Gorhart is an Elmain settlement, so you won't find too many Alpha here. They tend to stay close to Rathia, their city on the coast. I don't mind them. Alright. Um... Okay, let's, um... Okay, where the hell... Where the heck do we need to go next? Oh, hey, there's the pub. Yeah, let's go into the inn, because why not? See Nanny for alchemical goods. Times are hard, but hard times can pay if you're willing to take risks. If you have the sword and stomach for this sort of work, we could use another strong arm among the warsworn. Hmm. <laughs> Peaceful enough, if it's peace and quiet you like. Trouble with bandits and rogues now and then. That's when they send for me. There's a war in the east, and Dalentarth's got our own troubles with the Red Legion thieves. Some say they've seen Tuatha in these parts. Fools, I'll believe that when I see it. That's me, war sworn since before you've been drawing breath, an oath blade near as long. Easy now, stripling. Earn your way to Pledge Shield first. Then, in five or ten years' good service, you'll make Oathblade. A name taken by some lot of scoundrels to glorify their thievery. A name breeds fear and doesn't die like a man. But killing the men who use the name is a start, eh? <laughs> They're unlike any fae you've ever seen. Red eyes to match their armor, and fierce as rabid wolves. What have you been living under? We've been at war with the Tuatha for 15 years. So wait, all of this destruction happened over the course of 15 years. Jeez, Pete. Fae are folk, but not mortal folk. They're not concerned with the things we mortals are. Herc will protect us. Alright, before we consider joining into the first fraction we see, we should probably consider our options a bit more. Because there are going to be choices on what fraction we may want to associate ourselves with. Work, work. Pull up a stool, stranger. We don't have much, but what we have won't leave a hole in your pocket. Are you here about that fey girl they found outside? New to the area? I don't recall the last time I met someone who was unfamiliar with the Alpha. There are two groups. There used to be one, but that was many years ago. The Losulfa are cool, slightly aloof. The Dokulfa, however, are very friendly, but their charm masks a mischievous nature. <laughs> I must be honest, sometimes I forget who we are fighting. All I know is that the humans and Alpha have been battling the enemy for close to ten years now. Nothing of interest to tell. I'm just a simple farm girl from the plains of Erethel. I left home as a girl and travelled west, found myself here in Gorhart. All I know is what I've heard from others. They say that the fair folk possess powerful nature magic. That would explain the beauty of these woods. Okay, so the Fey have powers over nature, which is interesting to know. I've worked here since I was a girl. Arnik runs an honest business, and Agnar treats me like a daughter, though he doesn't say much. If you need a healer's touch, Katrin works out of a room upstairs. She's Alpha, but I wouldn't hold that against her. Okay, so they have a healer. It's as good a place as any, I guess. The Fey are strange, but they rarely bother us down here. I worry more about Nanny Henry, the creepy old alchemist. Vast rolling hills east of here, near the coast. You should head that way if you wish to join the war effort. The Alpha need all the help they can get. I feel terrible about what happened to that girl. Gorhart used to be a nice little village. These days we're jumping at shadows. 
And we could shop here. We have a... Oh my god, we have some really expensive stuff. Holy crap. Why does this random bar have expensive crap? I, I get... I don't know. But holy shite. Don't be a stranger. We have what you need. Alright, so if we go upstairs here, we can shout, Medic! 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 Oh, and there's a, uh, there's a quest giver around the corner. Oh yeah, that was the, um, you know who that is. That was the person who was trying to guess, join a fraction. Hello. I am Katrin. Do you require my healing touch in mind, body, or both? The Gnome's Tower stands to the west, past Gorhart and beyond the ruins of Alistar Glade. However, no one should seek Alistar. Its secrets should be kept. I am unable to watch while others suffer. Too many mortals have fallen prey to the Tuatha and I could not stomach it. So I left my home in Rathir and travelled west. There are many all main villages. Hey, just came like in to watch the stream, but I'm gonna be leaving uh leaving my wife uh leaving. My wife just called me to what see if I wanted to meet her at the I casino. Staying to give the gone. view. Okay then, Health Regen, welcome to the live stream, by the way. We're currently doing Kingdoms of Alamar, and there is quite a bit of dialogue as it turns out. Different tribes that quite a metric ton to form an empire. They are formidable creatures, but new to the way of magic. I buried everything I was when I buried my family. That is the war's legacy for many of us. That is all I have the strength to say. The forests of this region are one of the densest in all of Armalor, <clears throat> and the stretch from Alistar to Issa. Those of us who live in the shadow of its canopy call Dalantarth the Feylands, because this is where these fair folk have their seat of power. Find the fair folk if you wish to learn the ways of magic. They understand this world in a way that is hidden from mortals. Oh. You will find many fey in Dalantarth, as it is one of their So, if we go to Dalantarth, we'll learn more magic. Okay, that's good to know. This has been my home ever since my love was taken by the Tuatha. After such a loss, one craves quiet. But it seems that the war has followed me here. I require a nominal fee only so I may eat and have a bed to call my own. That's fair enough. The glorious Alfar city to the east is where the forces of right gather to face the Tuatha. It is an enchanting place with a long history of magic. Magic is a natural wonder no matter how you use it. The Tuatha are the exception. Their power is tainted, and it has caused a grave imbalance. Be careful out there. Well, I don't need healing right now. So, let's go ahead and head downstairs, and we're gonna go... ...some damn where else. Hopefully, we'll actually make story progress. In all seriousness, though, I do like a bit of, uh, I do like a bit of dialogue and stuff and getting into the story and all that. I, I am a big nerd for all of that stuff. Um, so where the hell do we need... Oof! Are there any closer quests we can do? Question mark. That one's actually genuinely closer. That one's right next door to us. Yeah, let's do that quest first then, because it's right next door. Hello. No regents, unfortunately. So, oh, I get this now, okay. In that case, then, what you want is you want to have your staff 
and your scepter is secondary. So the uh, scepters are the long range weapons, which is good to know. Okay, and fire damage is much more effective on these guys. Ooh, we got a shadow prism. We got Death's Touch, whatever the hell that does. No stinking glue. You've discovered a new location. You're now able to fast travel to this location from your world map by pressing back. Ooh, we harvested? No, we didn't. Man, I need to get that alchemy skill. Oh god, I'm killing for it. I didn't even realize how much of a pain in the ass my life would be if I didn't pick alchemy. Oh lord. Alright, open this door. Let's see what's behind door number two. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Hello, person. What are you doing down here? Don't you know Agna Farhold is haunted by the spirits of the Arathi? So, are you foolish or just stupid? What happened to the formula? Oh, I see. The twisted gnome has found herself a champion. How delightful. Nanny always was a fool. So immersed in her work that she failed to see the deception before her very eyes. The Red Legion has her formula, because I gave it to them. At this very moment, they are moving crates of it eastward towards the city of Rathir, where they will fetch a high price. Poor Nanny. So trusting, so pathetic. Of course she can never learn of my ruse, can she? I'm sorry. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to go. <laughs> Ow. Ow, everything hurts. Jesus, they will not give me a break for even a split millisecond. we go. Loot that treasure sack. Well, that could have went over better. Okay, we have a lock to pick. Let's try and get this. Okay, use R to adjust the angle. Um... Okay, use L to start moving the slider. If the pick is at the correct angle, the lock will unlock. Otherwise, the pick might break. Oops. Oh. Oh, that one worked. There we go, we got some Sky Blossom. Okay. Yeah, that's one of the few lockpicking mini games I could ever understand in a video game. Because that one is always pretty easy to do. Um. Yeah, scepters are more like back east for one hour, then it's time for the new year. The new year and a nappy. Yeah, like a little babies, which is super mega adorable. There we go, destroy the formula ship. 
harvest these sky blossoms. Chips my eyes. Aww. Ooh, that was pretty potent. There we go. I do like a magic build. It has to be said, magic builds are pretty dope. They are pretty baller. I'm, I'm liking this. Uh, what are we gonna... Loot the corpse. And loot. And, ooh, we got some, uh, we got a no, uh, we got a better scepter, which is a bonus. Well, let's go ahead and look at our secondary. Oh no, it's the same scepter, but it has a little bit more damage. And requires a level of one. So it has eight lightning, six shocking, three ice damage, and two freezing. And we got this new shadow prism, creates a timid explosion. Cool. Ooh, we got a s no, we didn't get a star trestle. Damn it. I need to get some... I need to get a level on alchemy, god damn it. Oh well. Something about this room seems a bit off. There's no way to get down there right now, right? Yeah, no, because there's this, uh, there's these things in the way. Alright, we'll have to do a fair bit more walking then. Which is fine by me. Camera, what are you doing? Camera, what? I, what? What is this view, camera? Camera, are are you drunk? Camera, you you go home. Okay, it's actually Oh, it's weirdly inverted. The camera controls are inverted. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, that's annoying. Oh my god. Options, how do I undo the camera inversion? Um It says invert cameras, not- let me turn it on. I don't know. I may have just been- I don't know what the hell is going- I don't know, I'm gonna- Let's just go to controls. There we go. Okay. That's working properly. Okay. 